What's up guys, and today it's your boy Chazza here. We've got a brand new West Bromwich Albion career mode. We'll start off with the board 10, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much. As we could do, we're going to try and do the best. Here's our team. This is our reserve team, our second team. And later on in the episode, I believe Dawson is coming back. So he'll come back into this starting 11, well, this second 11. Everton start off. It's going to be a hard game. It's in the Capital One Cup. We want to progress. I'm going to start off with my second team, to be honest. Actually, I'm going to start with my second team through the whole Capital One Cup until the final, obviously. But Gnabry wins the ball back there brilliantly. He should score. He will score. That's 1-0 in the 24th minute. Brilliant stuff, to be honest, from Gnabry. He, he's a difficult one because I want to put him into the first team, but it's just... Uh, Matty Phillips is normally in his position and maybe McManaman but actually McManaman's getting a bit sloppy so we're going to see if we can change something up but we get a ball out to Berahino gets past his man really good there he also goes past McCarthy and Alcaraz beats him for pace he's just got a finish great save by Joel can we get the rebound in comes out to Navas he lays it off to Morrison he has a crack or oh, just wide and there is actually another a shot of this here we go look at this look at this replay just going wide of the top, top right hand corner should be well if he scored that would have been brilliant but Everton get a late chance in the half he should be burying that to be honest there's no doubt about that and it's half time they they could have been level at the half that could have put our morale so far down but as you can see they had 59% possession in that uh, set first half but we get a nice little ball in there I was surprised that actually got through to Coleman or was it it was Gnabry sorry we make a few subs here. Bring on Danny Ings. Matty Phillips, he, he's a game changer to be honest. We'll bring him on. And I think we bring on Malumbu as well. Berahino gets it down. Plays a nice free ball into Gnabry. I thought he was offside. Hits the post. How unlucky can you get there? Should be winning this game now. It's all us in this second half. Danny Ings, the new man. Can he get his first goal for the club? He's, oh, I don't know what happened there. He just dropped to the floor. But Coleman plays a nice through ball in to Phillips. Matty Phillips is always going to score that, to be honest. I had no doubt that he was going to bury that into that left-hand side of the goal. That's 2-0 in the 79th minute. We should wrap this up now. That's I think that's his second goal for the club. Might be his first in the Capital One Cup. But yeah, brilliant stuff from him. And then Lukaku, the dangerous man, comes on the pitch in the late half. And then, wow, I don't even know who scored that. I think that was McCarthy. But what he passes it to McCarthy? No, no, it was, it was uh, what's his name? It's I know his name. I forgot his name though. I recognise him. He's the ex Celtic man. I forgot. I forgot his name. Sorry, it's just gone blank. But you guys are gonna put it in the comments anyway. Anyway, so we win that goal. In we win that game. Sorry, brilliant stuff to be honest. Two one. We could have kept the clean sheet, but. Doesn't really matter. They had one shot on target. One shot on target the whole game. Really. And, and we conceded by that one shot. And it wasn't even... Actually, it wasn't even on target. It says all the stats because it hit off the bar. Never mind. We go into our next game against Burnley. I absolutely... I just completely forgot to put Danny Ings into the team. Against his old club. So, I do think he comes on in the second half. But they get the first attack. Great save from Ben Foster. Brilliant save. He... He throws it out from the goal kick. Ses well, from that piece of possession. Gives it to Sessignon. Sessignon's just running past the men as if they're not there. Cuts back inside. No relevant skill. And then <laughs> Ade Brown. I believe that's his first goal in the Premier League. He should be doing a lot better. But with, a fin with finishes like that, he's bound to score a lot of goals. So that's really good. It's just they're linking up so well. There's no need to do that skill. But got past the man anyway. And then Brown just easily guides it past the goalkeeper. Burnley have attack in the 33rd minute. Gets a head on it from Taylor. What a header. He just beat, beat our defence there. He just jumped higher. Should be doing a lot better there, to be honest, our defence. But he had that running start and came running in. But yeah, so it's 1-1. And the referee does blow his whistle for half-time here. It, it was a close half, but I think we should have edged it over Burnley, to be honest. We deserved to edge it, actually. But actually, no, we didn't. They had 62 possession. They actually were playing like Barcelona in this in that first half, just keeping the ball along the box. We just couldn't touch it. But I thought we had the 
the better chances to go on and score, but it doesn't reflect that in the stats. But and then I thought I do I want to change it up a bit because I know I knew Burnley's um, defense wasn't really that quick or pacey, so I went to a four four two wide with the two like cams playing as a wing playing as wingers sort of. So I thought, okay, let's just switch it around. We'll bring on Danny Ings, put Sessegnon on on the left. Because obviously Danny Ings, is, that's going to be against his old club. So I thought I'd bring him on. And I think I do. I'm not sure what on last. There's Danny Ings coming on for his game against his old team. We whip in a ball. Brilliant header from Ade Brown. The power. The pace of the. He just got a lot of power and pace onto that ball. Brilliant stuff. And the way he jumped. If you look at the replay. He just gets above the men like. It's like a Ronaldo sort of header. That one against Ever in the Champions League. Just absolutely jumps really high. Beats the two men in between. It's a brilliant header to be honest. Beats the goalkeeper who's never getting to that. But then again, they have another header. They have a header and well, Ben Foster makes a brilliant save. But now we've got three on two. Can Brown score for his hat-trick? No, he can't. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to get his hat-trick there. That's why he's not that clinical when it comes to him like that. I was thinking, shall I take him off? But I thought, no, we'll take Phillips off, bring on the young Gnabry. And I thought we'll bring on Berahino for Sessegnon, even though he doesn't play in that position. But Burnley's goalkeeper, I don't know what he was doing there. He just gave a gift to the Albion. And now Brown surely has got a score for his hat-trick. It's got No, it doesn't go in. The goalkeeper re-saves it. I can't believe he had never scored his hat-trick this game. But we do win 2-1. He's celebrating. We're celebrating the win. It's, it's, it's going all right, to be honest, at the moment. We haven't had... Many tough matches to play, but we're doing good. But we, as you can see, Dawson comes back. Brown wants to play in the next game. Obviously, we're going to start him. My Hill's not getting enough game play, game time. We're just going to get rid of him in the the January transfer window. But as you can see, we're fourth. Liverpool like 18th after six games. I couldn't believe that when I saw that. But as you can see, they've got a really strong team. But no uh, Sterling. I was looking. I, I don't know if he's actually been sold in the game. I wasn't sure, I didn't really check. But yeah, their team's really good. We started off with our first 11, apart from, obviously, uh, Zuma, who we do really need back, to be honest. We've been doing alright, but we would want him back. They get the first chance. I gets a shot in. Great save by Foster, but just skies it over the bar. Balotelli having a shot. Foster being the bigger man there in that situation. But then Balotelli links up with Henderson, the captain, and then... It's just, just that animation again from the goalkeeper. Ben Foster should be doing a lot better there. But then we do get attacked in the 36th minute. And then Cessignon plays a nice ball into Brown. It was behind him as he had the shot. The ball was behind him. He takes it on. It scoops past Mignolet into the back of the net. It was a brilliant goal. If you see the replay, it's an absolute... It's just it's just his quality, to be fair. How he's, he's hooked it back into the goal. Mignolet had no chance. Had a bit of power. That's his third goal in the league now. Let's, I want to try and push him into double figures. But then as you can see, the referee just blows his whistle for half time. It's 1-1. They had 63 possession in that first half. Five shots, three on target. We only had one on one. But then we get an attack straight away in the second half. Whips in the ball from Pocagnoli. Onto the head of... I'm not sure who that was, but off the bar. Couldn't believe it. Could have been 2-1 up at Anfield. Yeah, it's pretty mad. But we do bring on Berahino for Sessegnon. We switch... Uh, Coleman on for Gnabry and I put Danny Ings in the middle as a cam. I thought let's see if he can bring a bit of pace. I wanted to keep Ade Brown on. He's in a bit, bit of good form. See what he could do. And then we move on. Liverpool have the next attack. Henderson gives it out wide to Ibe all alone. He's got a chance. I thought that went in. It just went wide. We got lucky. But Ings plays a ball to Coleman. He's got it. He's surely got it now. He's just got to get past the goalkeeper. And he goes... <laughs> He goes completely wide. We have another attack. Mignolet makes a great save. And then he makes another save. A great double save by Mignolet to keep us out from winning the game. We could have won this game in the second half, to be honest, guys. I don't know how we didn't. But, yeah, that ends that game. And then, as you can see, we're fifth in the league. So, next episode, we've got second in the league, Manchester United. If you could please leave a like and subscribe, that would be great, guys. Thanks for watching.